with claws this time, Wolverine. <laughs> oh, what's up, nerds? Welcome to my nightmare. <laughs> As always, I am your host, Freddy Krueger. No, it's Charles Fernandez. <laughs> Oh, nerds, it feels so good to be back. Um, you've probably have noticed that content has been slowing down a little bit in the last couple of months. Uh, I went back to school. Oh, back to school. Back to school to prove to dad that I'm not a fool. That's right, I'm a full-time student. Um, I'm trying to get a big boy job. And uh, yeah, it's been consuming my life a little bit. Um, so I apologize for not, uh, not nerdgasming as hard as I have been. Welcome to my nightmare. It's Halloween! And there's always time to nerdgasm on Halloween. Penny for your thoughts, Chief. Oh, scared. <laughs> Let's just get right to it, nerds. On this issue of the nerdgasm, it is the Nerdgasm Halloween Special. A nerdgasm nightmare? <laughs> yeah! All right, so with it being Halloween, um, Let's just get right to it. There's actually a lot of awesome, creepy, spooky Halloween stuff to talk about this year. And um, yeah, let's just get right to it. So starting off, as we always do, what am I watching this Halloween? What am I excited about this Halloween? Well, here we go. <laughs> All right, the original Hellraiser uh, from 1987. Uh, this is one of my all time favorite Halloween movies, um, it's super fucked up, but yeah, it's really, uh, really over the top, really insane. There's this artifact that these people find, and the artifact takes, um, blood, and once it takes blood, it summons these demons from another realm, and, um, yeah, it's awesome. It's really fucking over the top, uh, it's got really awesome practical and special effects, um, everything you would expect from, like, a great 80s horror film. And it's the birth of Pinhead. Um, you know, he's a horror icon and, uh, just an absolute wicked character. But yeah, Hellraiser, absolutely love. And that leads into the, uh, the remake or reimagining they did, uh, just this year. It came out literally a couple weeks ago. Yeah. So here we are. Hellraiser in 2022, um, really, really great movie, actually. Um, Hellraiser, the original one, it spawned off, like, an insane amount of sequels, and the majority of them were just trash. Uh, this one is fantastic. Uh, it's really cool. Yeah, it's like a reimagining. They give a little bit more background on the, uh, on the box here, and kind of like on just the history and the lore of it, which was really cool. Um, and then when they eventually bring in the, uh, you know, the classic Hellraiser demons, uh, Pinhead, um, it's awesome. It's really, really good. I really like the story. Um, a lot of practical effects again. Obviously, you know, with the updated of 2022, there are some CGI and whatnot, but uh, for the most part, it's like practical effects, just kind of like the 80s. And it's fucking awesome. They did... A really really good job check out Hellraiser it's good all right um, yeah if you've been following the last couple Halloween specials we've been uh, we've been really into this new Halloween series um, this is uh, this one's a big deal this is Halloween ends so it's officially ending the story between Michael Myers and uh, and Laurie Strode, and uh, it's awesome. I really liked it. You know, it's uh, they they take a huge gamble with the storyline. Um, they definitely do, and I can see why people either really liked it or really hated it. 
Um, I honestly, I really respect the risk and the gamble they made, and I loved it. I thought it was really cool. Um, the whole movie is making you think about, you know, this one storyline, and then it throws you a fucking curveball, and they bring it back to why we were here in the first place, which is Michael Myers and Laurie Strode, and yeah, I loved it. I thought it was really cool. Um, I thought they did an awesome job ending this, like, trilogy, and, uh, I'm really excited to watch, like, the original Halloween from 78, and then watch this new trilogy, and just, like, kind of watch that overall story arc. I, I loved it. I thought it was great. I fucking love Jamie Lee Curtis. She kicks so much ass in this movie, and, um, yeah, really well done. Fucking loved it. Okay, uh... So, Werewolf by Night, uh, this was Marvel's, uh, first, like, real, real wild card, like, in all honesty, especially with the special presentation, um, I thought it was really cool that they, uh, they really dove into something wild, and they did this Halloween special, and it's basically, like, Marvel's Wolfman, is essentially what it is, and Michael Giacchino, who is actually one of the greatest composers right now, he, uh, most famously, recently has done, uh, he did the Batman soundtrack, which is, oh, probably the best movie soundtrack of the year, easily. But anyways, he directed this, and he really made it an homage to, you know, classic horror monster movies from, like, the 20s, and it's definitely, like, the Wolfman, but in the Marvel, you know, it's basically, uh, Marvel meets the Wolfman, and it's just so awesome, it's so well done, um, it hits the mark on everything, and honestly, I recommend everybody check this out. It's a lot of fun. It's just under an hour, and it's awesome. It's really, really good. Um, I hope Marvel does more of these, and I hope they do a Halloween special every year with Werewolf by Night. Okay, ending off on something really, really dope. Um, Friday the 13th, the game... That's right, um, you know, I'm a huge, <laughs> I'm a huge gamer, and, uh, every year, usually for Halloween, I play, like, Resident Evil, or, uh, Last of Us, but, um, I'm an idiot, and I was really out of the loop, and I finally got my hands on Friday the 13th, the video game, and it's awesome. Um, I haven't played it online yet, I've just played kind of like the LAN, or like the solo play, and it's wicked. You can choose multiple locations, you can choose different versions of Jason, and um, as you progress the game and you get better at it, you unlock stuff, so you can get different versions of Jason from the whole franchise. You get, you know, different weapons, different special kills. It's, it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, it's an indie developed game, um, so the graphics aren't like fucking, you know, groundbreaking. Um, but it's exactly what you would want from this style of game. It's really cool. Like, they give you, uh, when you play the single player, you can do kind of like a story mode, and it's kind of like scene challenges. So, this one's great. <laughs> um, these two guys, the car broke down, and this guy's gonna go rock a piss, and, you know, Jason don't like that. Oh, yeah! Yeah, just amazing. Like, absolutely incredible. Um, but yeah, so now we got his buddy that's left over there fixing the car. So you guys can kind of tell, but like this like little like white circle that kind of expands. So that's letting me know like a heartbeat essentially and like someone's there. Um, and yeah, like this game, it really goes for it. Like it lets you do everything that's classic Friday the 13th, like slasher, like stalking. And you get 10 points for that. And it's great. It's exactly like the movie. Um, and you gotta time it out, right? So this guy actually moves from, like, the front of the car to underneath, and you can kill him on either side, but you have to plan it out. And, uh, yeah, this is great. Okay, let's go. Let's go for it. Okay, and I, like, I can run, but I don't know if I should, because, like, wouldn't he hear that? Anyways, okay, speed walk. We're doing the menacing speed walk. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Get over there, and... Oh! Oh, <laughs> I made it! Oh, amazing. Yes. Classic Friday the 13th Jason kill. Like, love it. Yeah. And then there you go. And that's a scene completed. <laughs> 
And then yeah, like so you, yeah. you it, like it gives you your stats at the end, and like I said, depending on um, how you like play the scene, you unlock certain things, and then it gives you advantages for the next scenes and when you want to replay. Yep, that is definitely Jason's uh, mom's head there, just like the movie. That's right. Everything he does is for his mama. R.I.P. So yeah, this is like um, yeah, you can kind of like. <laughs> Like, transport, not tran transport, you can kind of like, you know, teleport, that's what I'm looking for. You can fucking teleport around and it doesn't like a creepy, like, evil dead kind of way. Can throw knives? Look at that. What a beautiful shot. Good shot, Charles. Uh, I mean, Jason, do it for mommy, Jason. Um, anyways, but yeah, like, it's so much fun and like, you know, classic... <laughs> Classic 80s horror, like the counselors sometimes are idiots and they run into you or like they just don't know where to go. And look at this. Oh, yes. Classic Friday, like classic Jason kill. Like I love it. They let you do signature kills from the movies. It's awesome. And look, see, this guy just saw me murder his friend and now he's running away. And I'm like, cool. Lead me to your other friends. Lead me. <laughs> Lead me into the scavenger. Okay. Oh yeah, and like I said, they're dumb. Like, look at that. She should have just stayed in the cabin, but nope. And here we go. <laughs> oh, my other favorite kill. Just punch your fucking head off. I love it. That's from, uh, what, Jason Takes Manhattan or something? Yeah. One of the worst Friday the 13th sequels ever, but it gave us a great kill. Oh, this is another classic. Um... By the way, those are like fireworks, so the camp counselors, if they time it out right, they can throw um, fireworks and then it distracts... Oh! <laughs> it distracts uh, Jason, but uh, yeah, no, they're fucking up, so... Yeah, no, this game's a lot of fun, like, they did a really good job, you know, like, it's clearly fans of the franchise and they know how to make it, like, really work, like, look at this. Oh, this is another classic kill. <laughs> Hardcore, but I love it. I love die, it. Jason. Uh, Make yeah, that's amazing. Uh, and again, like, look at this. I bet you 20 bucks. Yeah, run towards me. <laughs> she, like, cop dove out of that window right into me. Well, you deserve it at this point. Look at this. And peace. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, but that's like my favorite fucking kill. It is hilarious. Just punches the head clean off. Like, it's like a Simpsons move. It's like, that's something you would see on The Simpsons. It's amazing. Um, oh, yes, yeah, so you can do your classic, like, you know, you gotta cut, you can cut the doors down if they uh, lock the uh, cabin doors and whatnot. Oh, yeah, and this is great. So they can hide in these little wardrobe units and then you just murder them in there and it goes to like kill cam. And then, yeah, look, there you go, right? So at the end of the round, like, it is timed and whatnot. In this case, fucking murdered all of them, because fuck yeah. And then, yeah, it does this nice little, uh, what, you know, total Friday the 13th right out of the movie. Did good for mom. Go celebrate with mother, Jason. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a wicked game. They did a really good job. Um, it's so much fun to play, and when you find the right group of people to play with, um, you can be the counselors and you can try to fight and run away from Jason and you do have to try and escape and they can get away But in this case, I kicked so much ass. No one got away. I fucking murdered all of them. High five, Jason You're an itch. Oh. oh, that's good. Oh Yeah, that's good. Oh, all right nerds. Well, there you have it. There is the Halloween special um, Yeah, I gave you some things to watch I uh, gave you some things to play, and yeah, you have everything you need to ensure a spooky Halloween this year. So with that, thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure to hit subscribe on your way out. That's the most important thing you can do right now. Um, seriously, if you don't hit subscribe, I'm gonna know, and then when you sleep, I'm gonna be there. So just go ahead and hit that goddamn subscribe button. Um, yeah, that's it, nerds. Um, definitely want to make sure that you hang on. 
Um, thank you for joining me on this special issue of the Nerdgasm, the Halloween special. Uh, next, coming up, we're going to be reviewing God of War Ragnarok. You do not want to miss that. I've been waiting years for that game, and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Thanks so much for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the Nerdgasm. Boo! Yeah! Welcome to my nightmare, bitch! <laughs>